If you type the keyword selfishness into the Google search, you will get approximately 60 million results. In 043 seconds, these interesting figures show how we look at life through real observation and the lessons we learn from childhood. Everyone can immediately come to the following conclusion. Selfishness. In a short and bad life, always without caring about the rights of others, putting one's own interests above all else should be avoided, but taking first is not actually the worst thing in human nature. You can tell their needs in the best way. If you can meet your needs then is acceptable. And the truth is, if you can generate energy in your life and the people around you on time, if you or the people around you go to, you have doubts about this idea, I will advise you. In order not to delete today's videos here, I will show a completely different view and selfishness where you agree to rest after work, wanting a lifestyle that is about your contribution. As always, I have a question for you. Watch the video to the end and do not miss the lesson because one of these lessons 10 will help you in your development. It can give different ideas about measured self-esteem that can bring great benefits. Are you ready to face this problem? Leave your comment before we start and we agree, I first time. Number one, focus on your goals and don't give up. When we have to choose between being selfish and making sacrifices, Stoicism helps us see that sometimes selfishness is actually strength. This is especially true when it comes to staying strong and focused on your goals. A little selfishness can be the key to greatness. Goals aren't just places we want to go. They're also lighthouses that guide us on our spiritual journey. They don't just mean material success. They mean improving ourselves and growing as people all the time. Perseverance isn't just sticking with something. It's an expression of self-discipline, which is a core principle of stoicism in a world full of distractions. Focus is a form of nobler selfishness. When we get rid of distractions and focus on what matters most, we not only respect our own time and energy, but we also believe that our own will has the power to shape our future. When we face challenges head on, we are not only practicing persistence, but we are also honing our souls and getting ready for bigger battles on the path to self-improvement. It may seem counterintuitive, but when we work toward our own goals, our greed can become an inspiration to others. As we get better, we are better able to help others. This is one of the most important lessons that Stoicism teaches us. Focus and persistence are not just tools. They are the essence of life philosophy. They remind us that the right kind of selfishness gives us the strength to overcome, grow, and most importantly, contribute. By putting ourselves and our goals first, we create a world where everyone is the best version of themselves. One of the most important qualities we can have in the journey of achieving our dreams is unwavering focus and unwavering determination. Even though obstacles arise and setbacks occur, the ability to focus on our goals and persevere through difficult times can ultimately lead to success. Let's break down this important lesson through five key points. Clarity of vision Clearly define your goals and objectives. What do you really want to achieve? Having a clear vision provides direction and purpose. Focusing your efforts on concrete goals. Set SMART goals. SMART goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound. Break your big goals into smaller, manageable tasks with deadlines. This method helps maintain focus and provides a path to success. Cultivate your patience. Encounter problems along the way. Instead, instead of seeing loss as a failure, look at it as a chance to grow. Learn from your mistakes, be open to change, and keep going even when things go wrong. Don't give up. Stick to your goals no matter what. Even if you feel like giving up, 
or being distracted. Hold on to your goal and remember why you started this journey. Enjoy the progress, no matter how small, remember and enjoy your wins. Appreciating progress makes you feel better and makes you more determined to keep getting better. To stay motivated and on track with your end goal, mark and celebrate important times along the way. Focusing on your goals and not giving up is one way to use the power of determination to get past problems and make your dreams come true. Remember that success doesn't always happen right away, but it will if you work hard and don't give up. Number two, put yourself first. The lesson for today is all about self. There is a deep lesson I'd like to tell you this. When you love yourself, you put your own happiness and peace first, and you don't think of your own life as selfish. There's a reason why flight attendants tell us to put on our oxygen masks before helping others in an emergency. If you run out of oxygen, you can't help anyone else. Similarly, if you're tired or unhappy, it's hard to make other people happy. This shows an important lesson in Stoic philosophy. Putting yourself first isn't just a way to take care of yourself. It's also your job to the people around you and the community. We often get caught up in work and relationships to the point where we forget to take care of ourselves. We try to serve everyone around us, but we forget that to serve effectively, we need to put aside our egos and focus on others. Prioritizing yourself doesn't mean always putting yourself above others. It means being aware of and taking care of your own needs so that you can be strong and able to help others effectively. You need to be very self-aware and have a heart that is ready to see yourself honestly and fairly. When you start to see prioritizing yourself not just as a right, but as a responsibility, you will find the hidden power of self-care. You'll see that by investing in yourself, you're investing in your ability to make a positive difference in other people's lives. Stoicism teaches us not only how to deal with problems, but also how to live a meaningful and purposeful life. The key to that life is understanding and putting yourself first. When you do this, you not only build a strong soul, but you also have a bigger effect on the world around you. Share your ideas and experiences about putting yourself first in daily life. How have you used this lesson and how has it changed you? We value all of your opinions and stories as sources of inspiration for our community. Write something below. Number three, learn from failure and setbacks for personal growth. Every time you play a game, you don't always win and you don't always get what you want. It's normal to fail, but what will you do later that worries me more? What do you do when you fail? As the great singer Frank Sinatra said, get back up and get back in the race. That's life. Don't feel sorry for yourself or mope around all day. Get back up and try again and again until you succeed. Failure is a part of life, just like success. Losses happen just as often as wins. The most important thing is to think about how to make sure you don't fail again in the same way. Remember that life is a series of trials and errors. Success and failure are always connected because failure helps us grow and learns us about our flaws and what we need to work on in order to reach our goals, fulfill our desires and make our dreams come true. We must work hard and fail many times in order to reach our goals. If you've never failed, it means you haven't tried hard enough. Failure is a necessary part of learning. It not only helps us see our hobbies and goals more clearly, but it also helps us figure out what new skills and strategies we need to deal with problems. We learn how to be strong, how to change, and how to keep going even when it's not clear what the next step is. Remember that every failure has a lesson inside it. You can start over and make your path more precise by taking failure and learning from it. This makes you stronger, smarter, and more adaptable when bad things happen. 
In life, you will always fail and have failures. A lot of the time, they cause pain, anger and sadness. That being said, they also offer great chances to learn and grow. Failure can teach us a lot, and seeing mistakes as stepping stones can have a big impact on our growth. Here are five important things to think about. Change your viewpoint. Don't see loss as the end of your skills. Instead, see it as feedback. Figure out what went wrong and why. Don't let your feelings get in the way of rationally looking at your mistakes. This change in how you think about things can help you see failure as an important part of learning. Be resilient. Being resilient means being able to get back up after something bad happens. It's about being strong and positive even when bad things happen. Focusing on your strengths, keeping a positive mood, and asking for help from others can help you become more resilient. Remember that difficulties don't make you who you are. How you handle them does. Learn from your mistakes. Every mistake can teach you something useful. Take some time to think about what went wrong and why. Figure out the habits or actions that led to the failure and consciously work to get better. Adopt a growth attitude and believe that you can improve your skills by working hard and being dedicated. Adapt and come up with new ideas. When we fail, we often have to rethink our strategy and look for new ways to solve problems. When things go wrong, use it as a chance to try new things and change. Be willing to try new things and look at things from different angles. Remember that failures are not obstacles, but rather stops on the way to success. Persist with purpose. Most of the time, you will run into problems on your way to success. Do not give up on your dreams and goals, even if you think you will fail. Setbacks should push you to work better and harder. Remember that setbacks are only temporary and not failures for good. Keep moving forward with purpose and drive. In closing, failure and setbacks are not the end of the world. They are chances to learn and grow. You can turn failures into opportunities for personal growth and success by changing your outlook, being resilient, learning from your mistakes, adapting and coming up with new ideas, and sticking with it. Number four, gain the courage you need to face and get past problems. Being sure of yourself is a source of love. It means having faith in your own abilities and knowing you can handle and get through any situation. It builds a strong sense of who you are and provides a solid base for every step on the journey of life. In every challenge, every time we leave our comfort zone, we learn something new about ourselves and the world around us. Marcus Aurelius, who was known for being very strong and flexible, said that every problem and challenge is a chance to get better and strengthen your self-belief. This is what confidence is all about, a strong resource that, when cared for, not only helps us deal with and get through different problems, but also makes us a good force ready to help others without making us less valuable. Being sure of ourselves helps us see ourselves as an important part of the community, someone who can share, help, and contribute. Picture yourself standing in front of a big crowd with all eyes on you. Your heart is racing with fear and excitement, but you start to speak one word at a time. Every word you say reverberates not only in the room, but also in your soul, driving away all your fears. Not to worry when you finish the warm applause from the audience isn't just a sign of a good speech. It's also a sign of how mentally strong and confident you are. As we've seen, building confidence isn't easy, but it is possible and very important. In this lesson, we learn how to embrace our selfishness and turn it into a powerful tool for our own growth and success. Don't forget that every step you take and every task you overcome is not just a small win, but a big step toward building your confidence. How did you become more confident? We all face problems and turning points that shape our self-esteem. 
Tell us about yours and how you overcame them to become stronger in the comments section below. Let's make an inspiring community where every story is a useful contribution. There will always be problems in life. No matter how big or small they are, they can often feel impossible to get through. But having the courage to face and get through these problems is important for success and personal growth. Being brave doesn't mean not being afraid. It means being able to move even when you're scared. We'll talk about five important points in this lesson that will help you build the courage you need to face and get past life's problems. When you want to be brave, the first thing you need to do is admit that you're scared. Always remember that it's normal to feel scared when you face new difficulties. Don't try to hide or avoid your fear. Instead, be honest about it. Seeing your fear for what it is takes away some of its power over you. Set goals that are doable. Split up your problems into smaller goals that you can handle. You can focus on making progress one step at a time if you set goals that are attainable. Each small success gives you more confidence and energy, which makes it easier to face bigger problems with more courage. Compassionate self-care means being kind and understanding to yourself, especially when things are hard. Know that mistakes and setbacks are a normal part of the learning process. Instead of being too hard on yourself, be kind to yourself by recognizing your efforts and treating yourself with the same kindness you would give a friend who is struggling. Ask for help. When you're having a hard time, don't be afraid to ask for help and support. Having a support network like friends, family, teachers or professional counselors can give you hope, direction and a different point of view. Get close to people who believe in you and your ability to get through tough times. Take action. Even when you're afraid, being brave doesn't mean not being afraid. It means being ready to act even when you're scared. Get out of your comfort zone and embrace the pain that comes with it. Remember that you often make progress and grow when you push yourself to face your fears and take smart chances. You're getting closer to beating your problems and reaching your goals with every brave step you take. In conclusion, to become more courageous, you need to practice, stick with it and think about yourself. You can build the courage you need to face and get through life's challenges by being honest about your fears, making realistic goals, being kind to yourself, getting help and acting on your fears. Remember that being brave doesn't mean not being afraid. It means beating fear. Number five, try to get better by disciplining yourself and thinking about yourself. Before we start lesson five, let's look at the story of Alex, who makes self-reflection an important part of his evening routine. Every night he spends a few minutes thinking about his relationships and the things he did during the day. The question he asks himself isn't, how successful was I today, but how did I become a better person today? Over time he realized that he let his emotions control him, so he looked for ways to handle them better. This was a leap for Maria, an artist, showed this by deciding to work for two hours every day, no matter how she felt. By sticking to this schedule, not only did her skills get better, but she also created her own style, which set the stage for her career. This shows that discipline is important for more than just getting work done. It's also important for finding happiness and fulfillment in life. Self-improvement through self-reflection and discipline is hard work that pays off in huge ways. When we take the time to think about ourselves and be disciplined in all areas of our lives, we not only reach our own goals, but also help make the world a better place. This is the true power of selfishness that Stoicism wants us to understand and use, a selfishness that helps everyone, not just ourselves. Remember that every day is a chance to take a step forward on the path to self-improvement by disciplining and reflecting on ourselves daily you will witness a transformation, not just in yourself, but in how you view the world around you. 
we want to extend our thanks and congratulations for joining us halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully prepared for this journey. Now turn your attention to the remaining five lessons on becoming selfishly moderate and developing yourself. Number six, surround yourself with people who will help and inspire you. Picking friends is both a strategic decision and an art. Each person we choose to connect with is a ray of light that shines through the darkness of doubt and fear, illuminating and guiding us. As Sena wrote, we are waves of the same sea, leaves of the same tree, flowers of the same garden. The place we live and the people we surround ourselves with shape who we are, subtly shaping and distilling the best qualities within us. We are told to get close to people who not only know how important it is to listen, but are also ready to face challenges, break down barriers, and share the joy of growth. With each meeting and interaction, we learn how to be more open-minded in our thinking, more determined in our goals, and more thankful in all situations. It's not enough to share goals or interests with people who support and inspire us. It's also important to create a space where respect, compassion, and unconditional acceptance are valued as ways of life. These relationships become invaluable tools that help us stay positive and find the strength to face any challenge. Remember that in the world of Stoicism, the space around us is not only where we live, but also a place where we can learn and grow. Everyone we meet is not only a lesson, but also a chance to grow and improve. By making and keeping relationships with positive people, we not only create an environment that encourages success, but we also lay the groundwork for a happy, meaningful life. Let's grow together. How has this approach changed your life? Share your stories below so we can all learn from each other. The people we hang out with have a big impact on our lives, on the things we do, on our views, and on our eventual successes. Having people around you who encourage, support, and excite you is not only good for you, it's necessary for your own growth and happiness. Energy that is good grows. Positive results, being around. Positive, driven people makes your energy catchy. Being positive creates a setting that is good for both personal and professional growth. It makes you stronger, more creative, and more positive, so you can face obstacles with confidence. Getting more involved, getting to know people with different backgrounds, experiences, and areas of skill can help you see things from a different angle. You can find new ideas, chances, and ways of thinking by interacting with people who have different skills, knowledge, and points of view. This variety helps you understand the world better and opens up new opportunities. Supportive Network Having a network of friends, teachers, and co-workers who are there for you when things go wrong or right is like having a safety net. Being around people who truly care about your well-being can help you feel better, give you advice, and boost your confidence. When things are tough, having them around can give you important insights, comfort, and the drive to keep going, inspiration, and motivation. It can be very inspiring to be around people who have already succeeded or who are working hard to reach their goals. Their stories of sticking with things, even when things got hard and winning, are strong sources of inspiration. Seeing their hard work, drive, and successes lights a fire inside you that fuels your own goals and aspirations. Accountability and Growth being around people who are supportive and driven will make you responsible for your deeds and goals. In this kind of setting, failure is not accepted and being comfortable is pushed to the limit. You are always pushed to do your best, change and grow as a person and as a worker through constructive comments, mutual support and common goals. In the end, the people we hang out with have a big effect on our lives 
being around people who encourage, support and inspire you creates a safe space that is good for your personal growth, success and happiness. Accept the power of good influences and watch as your path to greatness unfolds with the help of a group that encourages you. Number 7. Accept solitude to find your skills and passions. This is how your text looks in English after being translated from Vietnamese. Have you ever felt like you were on an island in the middle of a busy city, surrounded by nothing but loneliness? Being alone can be a necessary part of growing up. After all, that's how life works. There will be nights when you have to get through them on your own. Those are the days when time seems to go on forever and you walk alone. But when you look back on the years that have passed, you will see that in each of those situations, there is also inner strength. When you're alone, you feel like you truly own the world. You can see the sun rise and set, hear the wind and birds singing happily, and smell the flowers and grass on every page of a book. When you're lonely, your senses seem to be freed from the stresses of daily life, becoming more refined. Don't be afraid of loneliness. We're all lonely. Only by accepting it peacefully can we truly grow up. A cup of tea will warm you up, and a good book will help you heal some deep wounds and become stronger and more mature. You can do nothing but curl up in a corner of the room and listen to some music. Enjoy this moment by yourself. Enjoy the feeling of being alone. There will be storms coming your way, hot sand and muddy ground. But one thing is for sure, your feet will get hurt. I'm not afraid of being alone below the video's comment section. In life's difficult journey, we often look for happiness and success as if they were far away and impossible to find. But if we take a moment to think about what they really are, might it be that we already have the key without even realizing it? Stoicism teaches that you already have everything you need to be happy and successful. This isn't some crazy secret or hard-to-understand formula. It's just the truth about accepting yourself and mastering your life. Applying this theory to your daily life is an important step on the way to self-discovery and change. Let's look at how to own your happiness and success. As if they were something distant and elusive, but if we stop for a moment and look deeply into their true nature, could it be that we already possess the key without even knowing it? Stoicism teaches that everything you need to achieve happiness and success is already in your hands. This is not some far-fetched secret or a complicated formula, but a simple truth about self-acceptance and mastery. Let's explore how to own your happiness and success by applying this philosophy to your daily life, an important step on the path to self-discovery and change. Number 8. You deserve to be happy and successful. Pick your own fate. In a world where getting approval from others is normal, stoicism that helps us remember to be responsible for our own happiness and success. When we don't look for approval and validation from other people, self-love is not only a choice, it's also a decision. Becoming an artist means learning how to change yourself into a tool for success and change. This is not greed in a bad way. It's a choice of self-esteem and a path to happiness and success. In the story of Mark, a young businessman, this theory is put into practice in a good way. Mark relied on other people for many years as he tried to build his business. Thoughts and hopes. He was always looking for outside approval to prove his worth and ideas were good. But even though he had some success, Mark was still unhappy and unsatisfied. That's when he started to focus on self-improvement, which he believed in, without worrying about what other people thought. That's when he started to see changes. He said that he learned to be selfish, put personal growth first, and go after his goals without worrying about what other people would think or expect of him. Mark started to use this in his business and personal life, and it made people happy and pleased. It also helped his business grow. 
He didn't feel successful and hopeful because he wanted to be liked by other people. Instead, it was because Mark's story taught him to like and believe in himself. That's the power of getting to know yourself and changing. Not just for Mark, but for everyone trying to figure out what their life is all about. This is a wise lesson from stoic thought. In a world full of problems and failures, it's simple to forget that we are valuable and have the power to be happy and successful. Still, knowing that we deserve these good things is the most important thing for loving ourselves and being happy with our lives. We'll look at five important points to help us remember that we deserve happiness and success. Within each person there is a natural worth that comes from just being human. No matter what you've done or what other people say about you, just being alive gives you the right to seek happiness and success. Accept that you naturally deserve good things to happen and events to go well. Self-compassion means understanding that flaws and failures are normal parts of being human. Instead of being hard on yourself, be kind to yourself. Be kind and understanding to yourself the way you would treat a close friend who is going through the same things. Personal Growth Your path to success and happiness is special and never-ending. Accept that you are always learning and growing. The things you go through, whether they are good or bad, help you grow and get closer to your goals. Own what you've done. Celebrate everything you've done, no matter how big or small. Reward yourself for your hard work and the progress you've made when you finish a difficult job or reach a major goal. You should be proud of what you've done and know what you're capable of. Upbeat Mindset Having an upbeat attitude will help you see your dreams come true. Have faith in your ability to get through tough times and make the life you want. Instead of doubting yourself, have faith in yourself and believe that you are strong enough to handle life's ups and downs. This means that you deserve happiness and success just for being yourself. Accept your worth as it is, be kind to yourself and enjoy the process of growing as a person. If you think positively and believe in your own skills, you can go after your dreams with confidence and make the life you deserve. Number 9. Accept being selfish if you want to change and succeed in life. Imagine a dedicated gardener who takes the time every day to care for every plant and flower bush in their garden, making sure that no corner is missed. They know that keeping a garden in good shape takes more than just hard work. It also takes patience and a deep understanding of each type of plant. In this case, the garden represents the life of each person and the gardener represents those of us who are looking to change and succeed in our personal lives. This kind of selfishness doesn't mean ignoring everything else going on around us. It means taking care of ourselves first so we can grow and make a bigger difference in the world. Stoicism teaches us that the only way to be truly free and happy is to understand and control ourselves. When we take the time to see and accept ourselves, we learn to love and respect ourselves. This change not only makes us better, but it can also bring about positive change in the community. This is the best kind of selfishness, because self-care not only helps our own growth, but it also inspires and strengthens others. Accepting greed as a way to change and be successful is not only a lesson in becoming self-centered, but also a reminder of how important it is to be independent and keep improving yourself. Put yourself first, not because you're narrow-minded and selfish, but so you can grow a strong, caring and understanding self that can make good changes in ourselves and the world around us. Please share a story below about how Lesson 9 changed you and how it motivated you to change. We can't wait to hear it. Uh, number 10. Be greedy without hurting other people. Stoicism changes what it means to be selfish. Being selfish doesn't mean not sharing or caring about other people. Instead, it means becoming more self-aware and managing your time well. 
While it's true that personal growth is good for you, it can also motivate and inspire those around you to follow this concept. To do this, we need to become very aware of our actions and how they affect other people. This needs careful thought and a constant process of asking, is what I'm doing hurting anyone? Am I reaching my goals without hurting others? This isn't an easy process. It takes patience, kindness, and an open heart. So how can we use this lesson specifically and effectively? First, you should question and evaluate your own goals and motives. Think about whether your goals are in line with your values and beliefs, and whether you are moving toward them without hurting other people. Next, develop an outward mindset by being aware of how your actions affect other people and the world around you. Finally, always try to find a balance between growing as a person and keeping respectful relationships with other people. Putting this lesson into practice not only makes us better people, but it also gives us a solid base for building deep and meaningful relationships. By following this principle, we not only learn the true value of self-care, but we also gain a deep understanding of how we interact and connect with the world around us. This lesson isn't just about being selfish, it's also about dedication, freedom and love. Love for oneself, love for others and love for all. We've talked about the power of selfishness and taken a deep and meaningful inner journey together. We believe that everyone's journey is different and this theme has had an effect on you. This isn't just a question, it's an invitation for you to share your light with the world. Leave a comment and tell us how this theme has changed your life, your thoughts or your actions. We can't wait to hear your story. Every opinion and story is an inspiration and a valuable lesson for us. Follow the videos to the next lessons at the end of this one to make sure you don't miss the journey of learning Stoic philosophy. Together, let's make a difference. Thanks and see you in the next video.